Hi there. So um, today we're going to um, study the total solution of the difference um, equation. So here is our um, given, and as you can see, um, this is a first order um, difference equation. Okay. So before we begin, you might be wondering what is um, the meaning of this, because um, while studying this um concept or topic well um it's pretty sad that um uh, you know we have to find this so that we get the total solution so what's the relevance of this and uh, we're going to change this um quotation so this time we're going to make it you're the missing um, instead of peace we're going to change it to C to the parcel of my um, total oops, it's not clear to the parcel of my total solution okay so uh, <laughs> so that's our um, you know it's relevant into our discussion for uh, today okay so without further ado let's begin our um, solving of our um, problem okay so um you know the prerequisite of this um, video is that you um you should be able to know to get the um homogeneous homogeneous and um the uh, particular solution okay so before dive fully diving in um, you should also understand the basics so that's why I've prepared some basics here so um, as you can see um, this is the um, total solution this one okay mm -hmm. so this one and uh, this is homogeneous and this is the particular uh, solution particular solution okay so um, that's the uh, components of the total solution okay so with regards to this video uh, let's go back um, so as I said um, you should um, watch the um, two previous videos that I have because um, it is important in our uh, today's discussion. So first, let's get the um, homogeneous equation. So um, that's the first step. So we should know the um, homogeneous equation. So. Um, so I'm going back to um, the previous uh, board that I have and get the um, homogeneous here. So the homogeneous of this one is this one. So this is the homogeneous. see if I can copy it okay okay so um, that's the um, our homogeneous solution but um, let's fix it because it's a um, y of z, homogeneous of at n is equal to 0 so let's make it um, at n therefore it would be okay so this is true only at um, n is equal to 0 okay so we're finding huh? c 
see. Okay, so we're done with our um, first part, homogeneous. Now let's go and look to um, the particular solution. So that's why um, you should um, watch this video. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, for our particular solution, it would be. Okay, so that's um, the first step of our um, um, solution. Okay, now we're going to um, the second step. Okay, are you ready for the second step? Okay, so the second step would be... Um, but um, before we go to the second step... Um, we should find first location of um, total solution so it would be rise of n so um, as um, I've discussed in the basics so it's uh, it's the components of the homogeneous solution which is the C uh, negative a1 n and the addition of mm -hmm, particular solution Of n. Okay, so um, that's our um, total um, solution. Okay. Okay. So now we're ready to um, step two. Okay. So the step two is um, preparation of equation. Okay. Preparation of uh, equations. Okay. So remember that I've said um, in my previous video that when we're encountering a um, first order difference equation, you have to prepare um, two equations, okay? And when preparing the equation, we usually get the um, at n at n is equals to zero. Okay, so let's change it. Okay, so it should be um, at n is equal to 0. So using the um, given, this one, okay, so usually this is the pattern, we, we go back to the um, original equation. So um, y sub 0 is equal to um, negative a1 and y of negative 1 plus 1. Okay y plus 1 okay so I'll give you a minute to uh, you can pause the video and then um, think of your answer okay so I assume you've given it a go so um, because when you um, let if you evaluate x of n is equal to 0 and the value of x of n is the unit step and we know that the unit step at n is equal to 0 the value is 1 so that's why we have this um, one. Okay, so that's our um, equation one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, our second equation would be in the um, step one, this one. Okay. Okay, so um, let's evaluate again at y is equals to zero. We wanted it to be the same because um this preparation of equation would be useful for finding the value of c okay so at c um plus zero it would be c one times one because if you evaluate this it would be just one plus um, one over one plus um, a one 
and then news of zero is one okay so that's our um, number two or the second step so this is our um, equation two okay so the third or the third step would be finding the value of c okay so in finding the value of c okay, so it would be here okay so that's why in my um, introduction we are you know changing it to c because um, we are really looking to um, the value of c okay so we're going to equate this one okay so it would be um, c okay um, c plus one over one plus a one is equals to um, this one negative a1 raised of negative 1 plus 1 okay so now we have to um, simplify this okay so therefore it would be um, c is equals to um, negative a1 Rise of negative 1 plus 1 minus 1 over 1 plus a1 okay so um, further let's simplify it mm -hmm. so um, to simplify it negative a1 rise negative 1 plus um, 1 plus a1 and then 1 plus a1 minus 1 so zero zero mm -hmm. so we have c is equals to um, negative a1 rise of negative 1 plus a1 over 1 plus a1 okay so um that's our um, value of c okay. uh -huh. okay so um that's plus okay so um now what we're going to do next is um in relation to um architecture we have to put the value of c into the um equation of the total um response okay so um this one this one okay have to put it here okay mm -hmm. it's too far. let's move it okay so now we have to um, insert the uh, value of c okay so um, in this one it would be um, y sub n is equals to um, the value of c okay it would be um, negative a1 rise of negative 1 plus a1 1 plus a1 so that's the value of um, c okay and then continue let's just cut the paste Okay, so now we're ready for um, the simplification. So, in order to simplify this one, we have just to distribute this, and um, it would be negative a1 n plus 1 rise of negative 1. Also, it would be if you distribute this, this one into this, and also as you can see, um, we, they have. Uh, the same denominator therefore um, a1 negative a1 n plus 1 all over 1 plus a1 okay so bear with me 
we're ready to um, finish this one okay. so um, to finish this this would be um, this would be um, negative a1 mm -hmm. and plus 1 rise of negative 1 plus um, 1 minus um, a sub 1 n plus 1 and then 1 plus a1 okay so um, this is our final answer but um, you might be thinking or asking how it became um, like this one okay um, from this okay from this one okay so um, to explain that it would be um, like this um, okay so um, a1 um, negative a1 um, is equals to n is equals to um, negative negative okay so we're going to in order to because in order to insert this into this one they should have the same you know base okay but this um, lacks of negative so imagine if we have if we're going to multiply a sub 1 by negative 1 and then negative a sub 1 to n so that is possible however we're changing the um, value of that so in order to um, you know retain the value we're going to multiply it by negative 1 so that if you try to bring it out it would be the same like this so therefore um, in this um, equation okay is equals to um, negative um, negative a sub 1 n plus 1 because they have now the same um, base therefore um, it's now possible that's why we have this one okay so now we're ready to um, um, refine the value of c or um, the missing piece of the total solution okay so um, that's it so um, so to summarize so you've first have or you should have the homogeneous and the particular um, solution and then you prepare the equation you find the value of c substitute to the um, formula that you have and then um, after that um, you will be able to get the um, total solution that would be um, this one okay Okay, so that's the total solution okay so um thank you for watching and um, i'm jerome have fun in learning the um, digital signal um, processing goodbye and um i hope you find your uh, missing c in your heart thank you